Hold pressed. It's 3.20 now. I'm like, I'm picking up the kids and I'm going to the emergency room because I am freaking out. a super productive day and I'm gonna take a quick shower get dressed and the boys off and then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and Home Goods and we are gonna shop for my next video and do a clean and decorate and declutter a declutter a clean declutter and de decorate so I'm gonna go find some stuff for my kitchen and I'm so excited and we are gonna be spending the day together I need a shower and fix this like five minutes literally five minutes i'm going to briefly show you guys what i use i've had some of you ask me what how i do my makeup so i'm just going to show you i moisturize my skin i use right now i'm using the good jeans from sunday riley i love this stuff and if you guys are into get ready with me don't worry this is going to take super fast so don't worry i'll add some fun music so you don't get bored so then i love this stuff i'm actually out and I need to order more. This is my favorite stuff in the whole world. Multi-action acting sculpting cream from City Lips. They also have the best lip gloss, but I bring it all the way down. I'm trying to talk fast because I know some of you don't like it and I don't want to bore you. So hang in with me, friends. Then I use Maybelline. I put that all in my face. Let it get in. I add just the like a pea-sized amount of the Maybelline baby skin. I love it. It is a dupe for the Benefit Poreless primer stuff <coughs> and a fraction of the price. Then I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the Fair Light, their newest uh, color. I'll show this to you guys really quick and then I'm gonna speed up and go so I don't bore you. Y'all want like more of an in-depth, get ready with me, I will do that. But I did that. I'm gonna get the kids ready and then we are gonna go shopping a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm done with Hobby Lobby. I did not buy anything in there. I was just like, no, I did not need anything. And the stuff that I was actually looking at, I'm like, you know what? I'll just buy that when it is on sale because, yeah. But I did go into Home Goods. I'm having a little trouble with my breathing today, so a little alarming but I've been trying to do my rescue handles but I want to show you real quick what I got in home goods so I got this beautiful red ticking table runner I love it it's got little jingle bells at the end and I decided to just get red because you guys you can save so much money 
by just getting the color. So I don't usually spend money on like holiday stuff. A lot of it, I'll do it after the season. But I went ahead and made the plunge because I love decorating for every season. But I don't like to spend the money. I'm so cheap. I just don't want to spend the money. So I decided to get the color red because I wanted pops of red. And I can use this for Valentine's Day, you guys. So I got this beautiful. This was $6.99. I got this beautiful um, utensil holder. And I can use this for Valentine's. I can put a little vinyl. I have a vinyl cutter. I can put stars, uh, like gold stars, or like hearts for Valentine's Day. I could do like a manger scene. I could say Merry Christmas. I can do whatever I want and make this very holiday specific. So I was like, yes, please. So then I got these towels. I wanted to get the towels that were um, specific for Christmas, but I decided not to because we use our towels. So I got gray, red, cream, and red. And look, how precious would red and gray be around Valentine's Day? See? And then I can do the cream and red for Christmas. So that's saving money. This four pack of towels were $7.99 and the table runner was $12.99 and like I said I can use this for Valentine's Day so that is saving a ton of money you guys being like multi-purpose that's a big deal then I got this let it snow and it's got a sparkle reindeer I'm trying not to get all the stuff off but it had a little bit of a rip so I went up to the front and asked her if she would discount it and they were like yeah we'll take two dollars off score so that was seven or 9.99 i got it for 7.99 you cannot beat that then i got like little bobbleheads for the kids for their stockings and like some squishy balls but i think i did pretty darn good now i need to go inside and start cleaning my refrigerator because i am going to have a like food refrigerator declutter and then i'm going to decorate the kitchen with all this stuff and i cannot wait to show it to you guys that is going to be in another video just for a declutter and decorate video so definitely be on the hunt for that but i just wanted to vlog today and talk about all the things i'm doing and then i have all my meal ideas for the week and this time i decided can y'all see that this time i decided to do walmart pickup instead of going in or having shipped i figured why not just do walmart pickup so let me show you what's on here so i've got some crock pot meals coming tonight for dinner i think we're gonna have right here the chicken um garlic butter chicken with peas and carrots noodles and i'm gonna i make my own ranch seasoning that's what we're gonna have for dinner but here are some of the ideas of crock pot meals that we are gonna have for a, I'm gonna make a whole day's worth of crock pot meals, which I'm super excited about doing. So I am gonna go inside, start cleaning, do what I have to do, maybe do my rescue and hangar because I'm having such a hard time. And then you're gonna spend the day with me. I figured why not vlog today? This will be fun. Well, this day did not turn out like I expected. I'm heading to the ER. I can't, I literally can't. Sorry, I'm gonna put this right here. I literally can't breathe. I've done my main inhaler for the day. Um, I do Simbacort, two puffs in the morning and two puffs at night. And then um, I did my rescue inhaler because I felt a little tight after this morning and going to um, Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. Came home, still feeling tight, but I just pushed through and I cleaned out my refrigerator and went and picked up groceries and I did my rescue inhaler again, which you're not supposed to do them. If you have to do your rescue inhaler closer than four hours together, you need to go to the emergency room. So usually when that happens to me, I'm like, whatever, I'll be fine. Well, this time something different is happening and it's really scaring me to the point of tears, but I'm trying to be okay right now because I'm trying not to panic and that's why I'm filming because I'm trying to focus on something else other than my breathing. But um, my back is spasming up which it's been hurting a lot lately, only on the right side, and I figured it was from all my coughing, but it is literally, I don't know why it's so dark, forgive me. It is literally spasming up to where I feel like I can't inhale, and I know it's bad. I've watched people have asthma attacks when I discovered I had asthma after Noah. I've watched people that they were saying how, like, your back will uh, spasm, you won't be able to, oh, like, put your your shoulders back and I'm starting to feel like that so I told Chris it's 3:20 now I'm like I'm picking up the kids 
and I am dropping them off and I'm going to the emergency room because I am freaking out. I have never taken myself to the emergency room for my asthma, but today it's time. I'm, I don't understand. How do you develop asthma after a baby? Like I haven't had asthma my entire life and all of a sudden I have asthma. I've had asthma for five years now. Like this is insane to me. So I got admitted, <clears throat> definitely wheezing. They're going to, they did a swab test. Yeah, give me a treatment and <clears throat> do an x-ray for my chest. Cause they're like, yeah, it's definitely super duper tight. Chris surprised me, I didn't think he was gonna come up um, cause we have kids, but the older kids are watching the little kids and my mom and he surprised me up here. So he's at the vending machine, of course. And I'm just hooked up to all the monitors and waiting to get my treatment. You know, I feel like the ER should be a little bit faster, but. <coughs> so, <coughs> it's bad. My chest always gets so red when I start coughing like that. I get these, like, attacks. <coughs> so we are, so I was trying to vlog, and I just gave our location away, which I guess we're not supposed to do. So this is technically take two. Two. Um, we are at the hospital somewhere in the world. And um, people know we're in Florida. And, okay, Florida. So we're in Florida. My lovely bride is um, doing an nebulizer. She can't breathe, and breathing is important. Um, and. What? You're Am I bad at the vlog? I'm no, vlogging. No, you're really good. I just. Um. Yeah, but we need to. Um. We need to figure something out because she's having some serious issues, and I keep looking at the screen, not the camera. Forgive me. I'm not used to this. Um. But um. Yeah, she's she's doing the nebulizer, and it's um. It's kind of annoying. The sound is a little annoying, but it's important because she can't breathe. So um. Anyway, we will update you. She's an getting an, an x-ray to I see, huh? I did get, see if I have pneumonia. Yeah, to see if there's any pneumonia in there. They did a flu test, so we're going to try, try to eliminate whatever it could be. So um, we will give you an update in a little bit on what is going on with her breathing. How do I stop it? I guess i got to reach around. Got it. Wait. Okay, we're, we're out. We have a diagnosis. And we are going to run home and... But we're going to drop off our script, and then we'll go home, and then we'll talk. So I just got home, and I wanted to show something that was at my doorstep in a really good way, which I thought was really cool. This was gifted to me, and I love it so much. It is an automatic wine opener. Check this sucker out. I don't drink a ton of wine for Thanksgiving. I'm going to give this to my mom as an early Christmas gift, because it's always nice to pop open a bottle of wine on Christmas. It's gonna charge up and it's actually beautiful. This would be gorgeous sitting on the counter. Oh my gosh, I love it. This was gifted to me, so if you guys wanna check it out, it's in my description box, but yes. Wow. Okay, that is pretty cool. Definitely check out my description box if this is like something you wanna give someone. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect Christmas gift. Okay, so it's obviously like really dark, so I'll move it around. But obviously I am home now and I've just put the kids to bed. Um, Chris ran to Target to get some things, but basically they said that I have chronic bronchitis and that um, it exacerbates asthma. So asthma is a long-term thing. And although I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, um, I guess whatever sickness I got started the bronchitis and does these like coughing spells almost like croup and it just absolutely takes over and it's miserable what scared me was my back was spasming up and i wasn't able to catch my breath like you know when you breathe in real deep i couldn't breathe in deep without having a coughing spell and that scared the mess out of me so i took myself and like i said they the x-ray was clear a flu shot or a flu test or swab was clear 
Uh, I was glad, I was so worried about my lungs. Honestly, I have a huge fear about my lungs, like having cancer or a tumor or something because they always, I'm not a hypochondriac, but it worries me because I'm always having trouble with my lungs. And so they were clear, which was good because I was like, I think I have walking pneumonia. Like this is bad. Every day for the past four days, my whole body has ached like nobody's business. And my mom says that it's RA, but I don't have RA, nor I have, I mean, I haven't been tested for it. But I mean, it hurts. I don't have a fever. I don't have any other symptoms other than like problems breathing and my, I'm so achy. But then from the breathing, like like I had mentioned, the back spasms. So bad, you guys, so bad. Chris had to stretch me out yesterday. I need to go to the chiropractor. So they gave me 60 milligrams of prednisone in there. And that is why I'm able to have a conversation right now and um, finish this vlog that you guys are watching. Cause I wanted to get it out there because I'd posted on Instagram that I was in the ER, so I wanted to kind of give an explanation, you know. But um, because I took that prednisone, I'm able to feel a little bit better. It's definitely still there, I can feel it. It's still wheezing, and it's still, like, when I breathe in, it, like, and I feel like I need to cough, which is an ugly face, please forgive me. But, um, I don't know. If any of you guys have asthma or have experienced somebody with asthma, can y'all please help me out here? How do you develop asthma? all of a sudden at 33 years old can somebody explain to me how do you suddenly develop asthma i mean this is baffling to me i don't understand and i'm miserable it's never controlled not with my dolera not with my qvar not with my simbacort <sighs> nothing i take an allergy pill every single day um and i do my my regular inhalers every single day lately it's been a lot more and the albuterol has been a lot more. But they did give me a treatment, as you saw, so that definitely did help. But how do you develop it all of a sudden, and how in the world do I get it managed? Like, I didn't even know that asthma can... I didn't even know that. I didn't even know it could put you out. I, when I learned that, I thought it was just like, oh, it's like a little, a little, little lung condition, no big deal. I didn't know it was like that, and that's why it's scaring me. Now the more I know about it, the more it's scaring me. So if any, you know anybody, can y'all just like, please let me know in the comments below because it's really scary and I'm really, really worried. I'm really, really worried. And also, if you've ever had a baby and had asthma, let me know because if, talking about expanding our family, can I even have another baby if I've got asthma like this? You guys, let me know. So leave in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I told you guys I'm gonna be doing vlogs in December so, but if you guys want to see more vlogs, like more often, more than just cleaning, more than just decorating, let me know in the comments below, like, yes to vlogs, you want more than cleaning. Let me know what you want to see. So, let me know. You want strictly cleaning, or you want a little bit of everything? Leave that in the comments below. I really need every single one of you watching this to let me know what you want from me. Um, because I want to, like, do that. Um, so anyway, yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed before you go and I will see you guys in the next video where it will be declutter and decorate and you're going to see all the goodies that I put in my kitchen. I'm going to be, fin I actually filmed that today and that's what started all of this working up and so obviously I stopped so I'm going to finish filming that tomorrow and that will be up. that will be my very next video so declutter and decorate so I love you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe before you go hit that notification bell because that lets you know it's totally free lets you know when I post new videos and if you're seeing this and someone has asthma and they maybe can give me some advice please share this video with them because I really would like some help because I'm the doctors aren't helping me and I'm scared to death. So I would love y'all's help. Share it to someone that might have a little bit of insight. That would mean the world to me. You can share it on Facebook, share it via text, uh, email, um, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you got to do. Share, 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 share it, and it, share it anyway because I need some help. I need some answers. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. If you let me walk.